Warning, the following video contains strong language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. Alright, you guys may want to know how I clean all my dishes and stuff after doing this. You see I got all this hard crusty stuff in here. See how it doesn't really want to come out. It's a pretty simple. You know, kind of scrape it as much as I can here. Like so. Get it out. Touch. Huh? I said all of my touch into the trash. Into the trash it goes. Then what I do is I turn this thing on high. Then I put my magical water into it. Just plain water. What that does it dissolves everything. I may be up on it. Now you may think, Perry. How does this work? I don't understand this. How do you get it up off, how do you get the water out of it? Do you take it out of the truck? No, I take a paper towel. Genius. Put the paper towel down in here, get it a little wet, and put my fingers in it. Just like you're washing dishes at the home, like your mommy used to make you do when you were 10 years old and you wanted to eat dinner and go up the neighbor and take his, his bicycle. Just kind of wipe everything out. You start getting hot, so watch your fingers. But you start screaming after a while. You go, ah, Perry, I don't like hot stuff. Well, I'm sorry. Shit, be taking touching your eyes after eating, uh, after cutting up jalapenos. That's all I can tell you. So, but get back to my story. <clears throat> you just go around and start taking all that crusty stuff off this Teflon. Okay, it's like an infomercial here, guys. Oh, look at that. It's like. Went am, went wham, it's, it's all gone. You know? There's a little crit. Ooh, it's getting hot. Ooh, it's getting hot. It's getting hot in here. Mm -hmm. Then I gotta take and have my trusty assistant, Mark, give me more paper towels. Because he's not doing a very good job of sitting over here laughing at me. <laughs> so then, what we do is we just continue to wipe this. Oh man, that's getting hot. Really hot. So let me turn that off for a second. You know, oh, Billy, it's getting real hot. It's getting hot in here. Well, look here. We need Mark to take this Ziploc bag right here. The <laughs> ninja spokesman. The ninja spokesman. You got that bag open? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I need more paper towels there. Come on, Mark. That's good, that's good, that's good. Them things are expensive. There was some Chinese kid making these things in in Minnesota the other day. Costco sells them cheap. They cost them. Well, I don't have a Costco account right this second. In the, in the eight pack. There. So clean that up like that. There. Need another one. Yeah, I'll need another one here in a second. Uh, I need more water. Jeepers. So let me get go down here and get my piss jug. Take the top off that. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, now we'll take and put just some water in there. Need some a lid on there. Thank you. Yeah. Service or public service announcement. Awesome. If you guys want a piss jug in the, in the truck, I always get one that has a screw on top, not a pop on one. I know a guy that took and lost his his uh his uh jug and stuff got all over the truck and it's pretty hilarious. But uh that's another story. But we go back into clean. See now, now see how clean that is. What? No, I was wondering what the holdup was, man. This guy's been taking mm, trauma. All right. Well, hey, there we are. Now, you're probably wondering how I take and get this other stuff clean. Well, I get this this paper towel wet, and I start rubbing this, caressing it. You know, like you used to do when you were 14, spending extra time in the bathroom. Yeah, kind of like that. And it comes off, see? Half of it's clean, half of it's dirty. Pretty easy. Water does the trick, guys. You 
Yeah. Then you just grab it really hard. Yeah. And it just all come off here, see? Just like that. Oh my god, Perry! Oh my god, yeah, I know. Like I said, it all come off here. Really easy. See, just with a little bit of water. It may need to get hot. I don't know. He's getting hot and heat. And that little part right there is being a stubborn little fucker. Beep! The beeper didn't work. But then, you know, we'll just clean it like that. It looks good. You know, everybody probably ate a little bit of trash and junk when they were kids. It really don't matter. Wow, look at that. Oh, I know, I got a big knife. I'm, I'm gonna get cut off of a, ah, I won't cut myself. No, not really. But, uh, just do that right there. And then, uh, get it a little hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Clean this all up just like that. <laughs> Guys, look at that. Oh, my dishes are clean. Oh, uh oh. Get, get another paper towel. Dunk it down in the water of, of love. <sighs> Boy, that's hot. Ooh, that's hotter than hell. Oh, man. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> what? Hey, the hotter the better. Mm-hmm. Keepers, Wally. We get third degree burns. I'm gonna be looking like a like the guy off of a creep show after touching the meteor. Blistered fingers, but it's all right. Got to do what you got to do. They eat good in the truck. Take the lid. You know. Don't forget about the lid. If you're real good, you can take a whorehouse shower in, with this hot water tea. <laughs> you know, I know. I know you guys don't want to hear that, but sometimes if you don't have the money to take and uh, wash your butt in the shower, and you want to get it get it squeaky clean, boil some water. You know, that's what they used to do in the old days. Put some hot water on a pot and throw it in the tub. Same old thing, just clean, close the curtains. You don't have to worry about it. Jimmy ain't gonna look at you. He don't give a crap what you look like. Right? Alright. Then we take this stuff. You're, you're probably wondering, Mr. Perry, how does this work to get all the germ stuff off of it? Well, I'll take this stuff right here. See, it's a bottle of urine. Actually, it's a Windex touch-up. Well, where's the paper towels at? Oh, you gave them to me. So you take these paper towels, what, like this here, like so. You fold it up like this, like a big kid. And you pump it a couple good times, you know? So you get that on there like that, then you wipe everything out. All right. Really, really good. Let it sit over here and dry. Take another one, wipe it out really, really good. Now, you're probably thinking, Mr. Perry, what about the chemicals and the bleach and stuff that's in that? Well, you know, everybody doesn't look funny when they live under any power lines, it's all right. Just a little bit of bleach ain't gonna hurt you. So, we can put it away like this here, but I got one more step, but I still gotta clean some more dishes real quick. I gotta clean my spoon, you know? Look at that, oh yeah. You know, just like that. Take oh, I, I know I need to censor this out. I got a knife, y'all. I know I shouldn't be playing with knives on on YouTube. You know, wash everything down just like this. You know. All right. Wipe down the lid. You know, there's germs and grease and stuff on these too. Wipe it on down, you know? Just like that. Mm -hmm. Throw that up over there. 
and we're going to take this bubbly solution stuff I have here and kind of just, oh yeah, just wipe it down a little bit in there, throw that away. Now this water's still hot. You can see the steam coming up off of it, I think, because I can see it. I'm going to soak up some more of this water. <sighs> That's hot. Throwing that in the passenger seat. Actually, I'm putting them in the in my co-driver shoes. <laughs> so, oh man, we used up all the paper towels. What are we gonna do now? I don't know. Gotta go to Costco. Hold on. Now we gotta wiping out this. My hand is hot. So now we got a wet rag. We're gonna take this and we'll wipe out the the bleach stuff so you guys don't worry about us drooling in our sleep at night and dreaming about weird people and alien abductions and things so you don't have to worry about all that we just wipe this stuff all out like this now it's all squeaky clean like it's brand spanking new you know it's like sham wow you know i should be endorsed by this so you clean off these these uh chemicals so Throw all my stuff up. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Look how shiny that got. Should put some chrome polish on that. What do you think? Put that on the side of the truck? Yeah. Kind of kind of detect some, uh, some of the lot lizards walking around the parking lot. Look, what is that? It's called a knife. Shouldn't be showing you guys that. Only big kids can have those. Wipe down the, uh, the spatula. Like so. Hey, we also got a cutting board, guys. Wipe the, the chemical stuff off of it. Put it up here on top of the microwave. Yeah. Then take our final piece of equipment here and wipe down our lid. All right. We're all done, y'all. So, that's how we clean up everything in 8055 Millis Cafe here. Don't want to confuse any of y'all thinking that I just cook on a, and throw my dirty, dirty dishes away. But we get it all cleaned up. So, what do you think there, Mark? Love it. Is it efficient? Yeah, not only learning, learning driving, but learning how to cook. Learning so how to cook and clean I, and everything else. When I get out there on the road... I can call you for corrections. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's almost like home ec in the truck, ain't it? Yeah, exactly. Home ec. Exactly. Home ec. Yep. Bye, guys. <laughs> See ya. Oh, my God, Perry, you're so fucking smart.